Hey everybody, um, it's Paul Frederico Photography here, also known as Frederico Photography. Uh, I'm Beezlebob, for those of you that know me as Beezlebob on my uh, Twitch stream. Uh, today I'm going to be unboxing a uh, product that I just got called the Next2DI, and um, I'll talk about that in a minute. For those of you that would like to, I would love for you to like and subscribe. Um, you can do that just below. And you can see me on Twitch, you can see me on, of course, YouTube, uh, Instagram, Facebook, all those good things. And uh, now to the unboxing. So, what is this? Well, as many of you photographers will know, we need a solution for duplicating our cards in the field as a backup. Now, some people like to upload to a computer and that's great, but if you happen, if you happen to be traveling to a place where there, you know, you, you, you can't bring very much with you, you're already traveling with heavy camera equipment, maybe multiple bodies um, and multiple lenses as I do, you really need to conserve on space. So bringing your laptop and all sorts of other, you know, gear is really not optimal as well as the fact that it's not necessarily the fastest way to do something. Now, my other problem is I don't want to upload my uh, raw files to my laptop because that's not where I do my editing. Now, granted, I'm not going to be deleting my card, my, my card in my camera, which for me, I use CF Express as well as XQD. My camera takes both. Now I have plenty of these and I'm not going to be just uploading uh, my photographs, deleting this and then reusing it. So I needed something as a backup because I keep these, they're pretty safe and secure, but you know, things happen. And when you've gone so far uh, to take photographs, for example, I'm going to Antarctica. Am I ever going to get there again? Highly unlikely. So I don't want to lose anything. I don't want to have anything corrupted. So, in addition to having these, which are very good and very safe, I want a backup system. So I searched and searched and searched and did a lot of research and I even employed my uh, personal shopper at uh, a camera store. And the only thing we could find was this. It's called Next2DI. Uh, it's the latest model they have it is uh, called video storage but it's not just for video it's great for video but it's also for photography so let's go ahead and unbox it shall we all right so now let's unbox this and see what we've got all right what does it come with well it comes with the main components it comes with a cable good to know and it comes with some other little accessories and of course the instruction booklet now this is not a well publicized um, item so uh, it, it really I really have to dig for it it's a specialized uh, item so it've got a, a USB C there um, we've got I don't know what this is let's see what this is these look like just rubber bumpers, which is great. A little shock resistant, always nice. Uh, okay, and let's open this. Uh, the nice thing about this is it is it's fairly light, so it's a lot lighter than a computer, and it's more compact, which I, I really like. All right, so this is what it looks like. Um, it looks like, you know, you've got a screen, you've got a control button. This is like a, a, a little joystick here, interestingly enough. And the one thing it doesn't come with is its own hard drive. You, you can buy it with a hard drive, but you're actually better off buying it without a hard drive because hard drives, the SSD hard drives are so inexpensive these days that you can get, I got a one terabyte for $99 uh, and it's a Samsung Evo, which is good. Uh, the thing about this that I really, really like is that unlike a computer or some other device, you can literally swap out these hard drives so you can have multiple hard drives. It, the unit doesn't come with a hard drive and that's great, but it's you open it up and you take one out, slip another one in if you need more room. Or if you're a person that just wants to save the backup. 
I don't need to, I won't need to. Uh, once I upload it at home, it'll be fine. But for out in the field, uh, we've got that uh, benefit to us. Now looking at the bottom, you can hook up a card reader, you can hook it directly to your computer, which is great, and you can uh, hook it to an external hard drive. So for me, uh, what I'll be doing is hooking it up to a card reader. Um, and in this case, that's an XQD card reader or the CFS, CFXB uh, Express. And, sorry, can't hook it up that way. Oh, no, I can. Sorry, I, I lied. So it's a USB 3.1. You hook it in there and Bob's your uncle. You can go ahead and record it, uh, upload your uh, photographs by sticking the card in the card reader and you're good to go. Now, installing uh, the hard drive, I, I've not done this before, so we're going to take a look. It does have a slot for a Express card, which is good. Uh, it's a CFS Express, though. It's not. It's the long. It's the wider card. So uh, the CFX CFX B is the one I use, not the Express. And it looks like we. Open it from here. Oh no, these are just more slots. All right, so it's got a an S, SD card slot, slot and a CFast slot, slot. Can't even say it. A CFast slot. So that's really cool. It's got several slots. Uh, easy to turn on. Next to DI. And luckily it's got some charge right out of the box, so that's kind of cool. HD error, okay, so internal error. Why is it internal error? Because there's no card in there, so it has to have a card in there. Um, and there's also power off, pretty easy. There's also no SD card inside yet. So to get the SD card in there, I'm gonna just take a little coin or any little thing that you've got there and just unscrew the back. Looks like a simple screw. Uh, nothing too difficult, pretty easy. Theoretically easy, if my hands would work properly. And then that pops off. And it doesn't actually unscrew all the way, so you're not going to lose that screw. It's got a little rubber thing to put on the back of the drive, which is nice. I uh, probably have that on the wrong way. There we go. Put it on like that. And then just slip the drive in. Easy peasy. And now we've got our drive in. That's how easy it is to switch out the drive. So another reason why I, I got this particular item. Screw that back on. And I even hand screwed it on. It was perfectly fine. And now we're good to go. Okay, so let me turn this on. The first thing I had to do was to uh, format the hard drive before, uh, before anything. So I went ahead and formatted that. Um, it says unknown format. Uh, I'm gonna give it a, uh, okay. Whoops, hang on. Confirm HDD format, okay. Security erase, complete it, it's all formatted. Okay, now X copy ready, all we have to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick the uh, USB in for my card reader into the card reader slot. And it says USB mem detecting Checking, detected checking, checking the memory. Uh, there's nothing in there yet because I took the XQD card out. But now I can go ahead and put it in. Okay, unknown device, remove USB memory. It didn't like that. So let's let it do that again. It is a it is a bit of uh, a learning curve with this, uh, hoping that it will be easier once 
I get the hang of it. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it back on. It's giving me the, the screen. It looks pretty um, easy to use, so let's cross our fingers that it really is. Um, okay, we've got the X copy ready screen. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hook up my uh, reader. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I, I put a, a card in here that I've already recorded um, or, or fo have photographs on, and I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the reader, and then I'm going to connect the reader. Great, it's automatically checking, parsing, awesome. Great, now we've got some options. Uh, a fast copy, copy and verify. That copy and verify is apparently going to make sure there are no um, uh, missing uh, or errors on the card um, or just a safe copy, which is even better. So I'm gonna do a fast copy just to, uh, for time's sake. And uh, left is uh, apparently one, one short push. And to use the right, uh, right words, you do a long push. So also again, pretty simple. So now it's prepping and doing a fast copy. That is super fast. I am not gonna lie. That is a really fast read speed, read and write speed. Um, so far zero complaints. Okay, it's done. So this is, uh, this is what it shows me here now. I, I've selected preview. I'm gonna preview my uh, photographs and select a source. I want the uh, internal hard drive. It gives me a simple menu. So selecting it is one click. There's my, there's my uh, catalog and show images. And there are all my images. So that's kind of cool. It, uh, it actually shows my images. It shows that it's backed everything up and I can, oh, I can do auto view and just have it if press auto view and have it go through the photographs one by one, which is kind of cool. But the nice part about this uh, this particular item is that it is all um, it's all backed up. And I'm gonna go ahead and stop that. And it's really as simple as that. And that's what I was looking for: something very very simple, easy to use. Um, it, it tells you do not shake or shock the device during operation. Of course, we know that, right? But it's pretty, pretty simple to use. And we've got some uh, little rubber bumpers to put on it, which is great. Uh, the rubber bumpers keep everything accessible. Uh, everything's still accessible on the bottom, but yet it's got um, some coverage. And it, this, um, we've got full battery, which is interesting because it was shipped to me uh, from Japan directly, and uh, full battery, still full battery. So it looks like it holds the battery pretty well. Pleased with that. It goes off uh, pretty easily, and it tends, it looks like it powers off uh, as well if you're not using it for a little bit of time, which is really good. Very, very short amount of time. Overall, um, I'm gonna say it's uh, probably maybe about two pounds, uh, give or take, and is pretty handy. It's it's not too big, so it'll be something I can easily stick in with my camera gear as opposed to worrying about the laptop. And with a um, hundred, uh, sorry, one terabyte of uh, storage, I can easily store all of my cards. Um, I have you know several terabytes of, oh, sorry, sorry, gigabytes. Um, I have a, a 256, uh, uh, one, several 128s. All of it will be compatible. I'll be able to store it. Again, if I needed more room, I could always bring for another $99 or so, another terabyte hard drive. So you have the ability to bring those. They're really, really light. As you well know, internal hard drives are pretty easy to uh, come by net these days, and they're pretty light. You don't have to put a huge uh, hard drive in here uh, because you can replace them fairly easily on the go in the field. So that's it. That's the next two DI. Um, I'm pretty pleased with it. Uh, it's attractive looking. Uh, I think it, it's, it's going to suit my needs very well. And um, I don't know, maybe yours. Uh, I am not sponsored by this company. This is just something I purchased uh, for my use. 
and uh, I don't know, maybe you would like it. Again, like and subscribe. You can find me on uh, Twitch, Instagram, uh, Facebook Live, uh, all sorts of places, my website as well, and thanks for watching.